understanding how this course works. Let's go over the entire structure of this course. The first part of the process would be to focus on reducing the impact of your OCD. Your obsessions and negative thoughts have a particular effect on you that create fear, anxiousness and panic that stays with you throughout the day. This is what we fight first. The warm-up breathing exercise that you will initially begin with will not let your negative thoughts overpower you like they used to do before. You would be more calm and composed whenever your intrusive thoughts strike. The Vama breathing technique is very easy and would not require a lot of effort from your end. When you start the recommended daily breaths, you would start noticing that you are becoming more stable and more in control than before. All this would take place in the first 21 days of starting this course. The Vama breathing would help you to never let your obsessions and compulsions or fears go beyond a particular point. This would be a grounding process for you and it will increase your confidence further in the program by seeing these initial results. You would be able to believe that yes, you are now on the right track and there is undoubtedly a way to overcome OCD. In the second part of the process, we would be introducing specific dietary detoxes. These detoxes will be simple and you would be required to do them once or twice a week. Diet has a significant role to play in your OCD recovery. We have to understand that our diet and mind are very closely connected. It's very tough to control our mind, but it's very easy to control what we eat. There is an old saying that says, we are what we eat, and that certainly fits well how our diet is connected to our thoughts. Think about it, eating fresh fruits and vegetables makes you feel energetic as compared to eating packed foods which make you feel lazy and lethargic. These detoxes help you reach a calmer state of mind and keep your OCD in control. A lot of people who suffer from OCD also suffer from high anxiety and panic attacks. In the second stage of our program, we focus on reducing such attacks that make you helpless and feel stuck. For this purpose, a daily 10 minutes activity would be taught in this course. This activity would focus on lowering the intensity as well as the frequency of such attacks. Our goal is to eventually reduce your panic and anxiety attacks to zero. The next stage would work on reducing the frequency of your intrusive thoughts or your obsessions. The smoking breathing technique would bring the number of times you get such thoughts to a low level. For example, if you used to get 20 intrusive thoughts in an hour before, which were accompanied by 10 compulsions, our goal would be to reduce this to 5 to 7 intrusive thoughts in an hour to 1 to 2 compulsions. With the continuous practice of this breathing technique, as per our instructions, we aim to bring down the frequency of your intrusive thoughts to a low level and later almost to zero. Apart from these techniques, it would be crucial that you exercise self-control in regards to your daily habits. To get the best results out of your course, you would need to bring out your willpower. Smoking, alcohol consumption, etc. would have to be reduced during the weeks in which we recommend. Certain habits help fuel your OCD and it is vital to keep a check on them. Think of it like this. Imagine filling a bucket with water, but this bucket has a hole at the bottom. No matter how much you pour in, the bucket would not be able to fill up. The only thing that would help would be to plug this hole. Similarly, certain habits act like a hole in your recovery process and your sincere efforts would be required to put a plug on them to get the best out of this course. By the time you would have completed your course, the impact of your OCD would be almost negligible and you would be filled with newfound hope, calmness and a happy frame of mind. At this point, we would inform you of the breathing exercises you would need to do post-recovery. It is essential to know that just like any other physical illness, 
OCD also needs to be managed throughout your life. We will inform you of the breathing exercises that you would be required to do to keep OCD at bay for the rest of your life. So here was the complete course in a nutshell and we hope to have cleared all your doubts. We look forward to having you a part of Calm Breath and joining thousands who were able to beat their OCD.